Today I'm going to show you how to turn choppy water like this into smooth water like this. And again, zoomed out, choppy water before and smoothed out after. So I'm going to start off in Lightroom. And to make this effect possible, I need to have multiple pictures of the same scene. So when I took this photo, I kept taking pictures to get the the right flow in the water. So optimally you want at least four photos taken with a tripod without the tripod being moved. So I have a few photos here and they're all from the same scene. So here's the photo I'm gonna use and I'm actually gonna copy the settings because I already have the settings processed. I'm going to press Control Shift C and I'm going to copy all the settings. So I'm going to copy them and then I'm going to use all of these images. So I'm going to use at least four but I'm going to use these six images. I'm going to shift click them and press Control Shift V and then that'll paste the settings so now all the pictures are the same and since I bracketed the photos there's gonna be a difference in exposure so I'm gonna fix the difference by compensating for the bracketed photo so this one was plus one exposure this one was minus one so I'm gonna add a stop of exposure and this one was also minus one. All right, next I want to select all my pictures that I just processed and then open them in Photoshop as layers. Once I have all my images open, I'm gonna find the layer I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this layer as my foreground and then I'm gonna use these to stack them and smooth out the water. So I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Control J and then it'll be the base layer as the stacking. And one thing I'm going to check is I'm going to see if all these pictures are aligned. So if I took these with a tripod it should be aligned but the water may have shifted the wa tripod slightly. So you can see this one it shifted just a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, that's good. And if you have a picture that the uh, tripod was moved a little bit, all you need to do is select your layers that you want to use and then go to Edit, Auto Align Layers, and then press Auto, and then that will align the layers. Alright, next thing to do is stack them using layer averaging. So the formula for layer averaging is one divided by the layer that you're on. So for the second layer it's one divided by two layers. So that'll be 50% opacity. The third layer would be one divided by three so that would be 33% the fourth layer that will be 1 divided by 4 so that will be 25 percent so fifth layer will be 20 percent the next sixth layer will be 16 percent and the seventh layer will be 14 percent alright so once you have all the layers average you'll see an immediate difference so this is before and this is after. So what it's doing is stacking all the layers and taking a part of each layer and averaging the opacities to create a smoothed out effect. Since the water is moving throughout the scene, it'll always be changing. And 
you can use a uh, different amount of layers. So I used seven layers, but you can use three or four and it'll still work fine. So the more amount of layers you have, the more it'll smooth out the choppiness. So I'm going to go ahead and select those layers and press Control E to merge them. All right, so I have my base layer now. I want to use it for the foreground. All I need to do is mask out this layer. And I'm going to do that by making a black layer mask. So by holding down Alt and pressing the layer mask button, it'll make a black layer mask. And then I can paint in the parts I want the uh, smooth that water to be. So I'm going to use a white brush just the regular brush with hardness at zero. I'm going to increase the size. I'm using the bracket keys. So right bracket key to increase the size. And then I'm going to paint along the parts I want the water to be smoothed out. And I'm going to go ahead and do it to the sky too. But that's not really necessary for your image depending on what you're trying to go for. So I've created the layer mask and now the water's a lot smoother. Alright, so that's all there is to do it. All you need is multiple layers of the same scene and then stack them and layer mask the choppy water out. Alright, if you found this tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And please leave a comment if you have any questions or anything to say. Thanks for watching.